The lessons that you get from these painful experiences comes from a commitment to the journey. We have the choice, if we want, to take a journey. And we can either choose not to take a journey, or we can choose to take the call to action and take the journey. Basically, what the journey is, is usually you're striving towards something, uh, some kind of ideal or a better future that you want. It's really the journey itself uh, that, it, that is the benefit. See, I think, I think usually when you start into it, most guys are just into it for the lifestyle, for the success, and to get out of pain. Sometimes you get out of pain very easily. You wind up getting what you want easily. But actually, that can actually be kind of a, kind of a bummer because you don't get the deeper, deeper benefits of it a lot of really harsh things, like really, really painful things, you know, and if you read books uh, uh, by other people that have taken journeys, you'll see these like really harsh things that they've learned. But ultimately, if you actually commit to the journey and you make the choice to step up, then that whole concept of everything happens for a reason will become accurate. If you're committed to the journey, then whenever something really brutal happens to you, it will benefit you. When you're committed to the journey of, of improvement, this is going to do amazing things for you. When you have a commitment to the journey, uh, you know, you're enjoying those, those small victories as you get them, and then you're continuing to learn. When you've, had to, when you've had to go through certain things, you get closer to your inner nature, and so you actually have a sort of much just greater, richer context of life and, and what it is that you're experiencing. circumstances become better and your, your, your power in the world expands and your ability to have uh, effect in the world expands, without a sort of equal measure of that freedom from outcome, uh, that sort of like present energy that you have, essentially what's going to happen is going to result in pain. Let's say that it's like a tree and for however much taller the tree gets, the roots have to grow. But of course in life, when we're just kind of rushing to grow the tree, the roots aren't growing any deeper. I believe that life is about, you know, the expression of intent plus the freedom from outcome. But for someone who, who wants to be in this world and make things happen, I think that, yeah, you do have to actually grow in your freedom from outcome. Seeing, seeing myself lose those oftentimes temporarily and, and then feeling the pain of it and then being forced again and again to realize it's like, dude, it's, you know, that's not what it's about, right? It's about the outflow, you know, and, and it's not about what you get in life. It's about being the person uh, who you love being and it's about the outflow of that and like, the, and like what you bring into the world.